The Fishing News is brought to you by Navionics, Okuma, Yozuri, Evinrude, Lama Glass, and the Star Island Yacht Club in Montauk, New York. We have some decent cod action to report, so I guess all the wind and rough conditions of late have kept the pressure off the wrecks, so when the boats can make it out, they're finding fish. With more, let's check in with senior editor, Fred Galafaro. Hey, thanks, Tim. And uh, finally, some good news as far as the cod fishing goes. Got a couple of decent reports from Tuesday. I know uh, several boats got out Wednesday, but uh, too late for that info as far as shooting uh, this video. But on Tuesday, the Captain Al had a decent pick of fish most of the day. Uh, I said it really turned on in the afternoon, got a little better, but they had a mix of keepers, shorts, uh, even some double headers. And uh, it's, again, just uh, one of the very few days they've, they've been out in a long time. So really good news out in Montauk, the Viking Star, uh, Captain Steve said they got out Tuesday, had a decent pick of cod pretty much every drop. Uh, high hook had seven keepers. So again, if we get the weather, the cod are there. Uh, let's, let's hope uh, it continues. Uh, something else going on this weekend. The weather doesn't look good for this weekend at all. But uh, there is something, something to do, and that's the Striper Day uh, from uh, Surfcaster's Journal. That's at Ward Melville High School in East Setauket. Uh, it runs from 8.30 to 4 in the afternoon. Admission is $15. It's a great day. There's more than 80 vendors, um, almost all of them uh, surf-related. Uh, tackle shops, some good deals on tackle. You can stock up for the coming season. And, uh, seminars running throughout the day and also a great raffle. The raffle money goes to support the kids from the uh, Ward Melville High School Fishing Club. Great cause, great bunch of kids. They'll be there helping out at the show. So hope you come down there Sunday. We'll be there. And we'll also have some of the 3R decals if you want to help out with our striped bass tagging program. They're 10 bucks a piece. I'll see you there. This just in, Captain Joe DeVito of the Laura Lee at a captory took advantage of the calm seas yesterday and put together a nice catch. The boat had 37 codfish, 116 big porgies, 70 big red hake, one pollock, one monkfish, and many other miscellaneous species. The boat sails on weekends, weather permitting, but may sail on a weekday when the weather cooperates and the interest is high. So keep an eye on their website, captory.com, and their social media sites as well for updates. Here's a list of some of the party boats that are sailing for cod this winter. Sunday, February 9th, the All Pro Fishing Expo and Workshops are back at the Huntington Hilton. Free swag bag with entry and enjoy a complimentary breakfast when you sign up for New York's largest and most comprehensive fishing classes. If you're sharpening your skills or learning new ones, learn from New York's finest fishermen, the All Pro way. And don't forget, there'll be over 10,000 square feet of the area's finest tackle retailers showcasing their latest gear. Go to allproexpo.com to buy discounted tickets online and save an additional 10% with promo code NEWS12. With few options on the saltwater scene and the ponds and lakes still free of ice, you may want to consider giving fresh water a shot. If you're like me and primarily fish saltwater and need some pointers on the freshwater side of things, here's Mark Melanovsky with what you need to know to get started. When you're fishing on Long Island, the species of trout we have available to us are brook trout, brown trout, and rainbow trout. First off, if you're 16 years of older, you need to get a New York State fishing license. Um, if you're under 16, you don't need one. If you do the tidal waters, then you also need the marine registry, which is free. Those you can get online at the DEC website. Just go uh, freshwater fishing and look under fees and permits. Another way to get a license is you can um, go to uh, some of the tackle shops. Uh, most town halls have them. Uh, sporting goods stores, some of them have them. Like I, I know Dix has them. So you have a lot of options to get your license. I, I prefer, especially for ponds, which, which we're doing today, I prefer a little longer rod so I can get a little more distance. I like a light action rod. This one's rated for like one eight to one half ounce. And I prefer four pound test mono. As far as fishing in the winter, water temperatures are low, they're, they're pretty cold. You want to fish uh, a little slower than you normally would want to do in the spring and early summer. 
Uh, so you want to slow it down if you're fishing with lures. Get down a little deeper on the bottom where the fish are lying. And same thing with bait. You want to adjust your bait to be just a, a little off the bottom with the colder water. My go-to baits in the winter, I like a uh, minnow type bait or a jerk bait, Rapala style. Um, gold or silver spoons. Also your cast master and spinner baits. All right, your little spinners, inline spinners. I kind of like a little dressing on it. Kind of adds a little bit to it. The minnow baits I tie, like to tie direct. Okay, or you could use a loop knot or a simple uh, improved clinch knot. The loop knot gives it a little more wobble. What I like to do with uh, spinners and spoons is to use a uh, a swivel and snap. All right. Number one, it makes it easy to change them, and the second, it prevents line line twist. The best way to f uh, find your regulations for the body of water you're fishing is if you get your license, you get a, a, a booklet from the DEC that has the regs. Look for Region One and the particular body of water you're fishing, whether it's a pond or a stream, and they'll tell you what the regs are. Uh, how many you can keep, what size, and so forth. Uh, the ponds, it's the same. They'll tell you what body of water. And also keep in mind, there are a couple of ponds that you can't fish in the winter, but most of them you can. While at Belmont Lake Wednesday with Mark, Mike Hyde and his girlfriend, they released a bunch of brook and rainbow trout. She outfished him with her slow retrieve technique. So it looks like there's some good fresh water fishing around, especially at Belmont. We'll be right back with more fresh water and fly fishing reports with Paul McCain from River Bay Outfitters. It's the 37th Annual Sport Fishing Federation Forum and Auction, February 15th and 16th. Get your fishing season started with over 50 exhibitors and more than 20 informative seminars featuring surf, inshore, offshore, wreck, bottom fishing, freshwater, and much more. Take part in the giant live auction on Sunday. Proceeds to benefit our Teach a Kid Fishing Program. Come join in the fun at the New York Sport Fishing Federation Forum and Auction, February 15th and 16th at the Freeport Recreation Center, Freeport, New York. Hello, Tim. Right now, we're in the middle of the winter, and, and surprisingly, we had almost 70 degree temperatures the other day. It has been incredible. And guys that got out really, really did well. Uh, there are white perch in the tidal creeks. Uh, there are guys that are fishing the Connect Quad, and... Uh, They've been doing well. The tidal section of the streams, the Carls River, they all have fish. Enjoy these days as we can. Now, I have the TU boys actually went up to uh, Connecticut and did a little bit of fishing on the Mianus. And they, they had fish. Uh, a few were coming up. A few stones were hatching. Uh, most of the fish were caught all nymphs, but they did have fish, and everybody went home happy. But it was colder up there than it was down here. So... Uh, Hey, go figure, right? Uh, myself, we're really in the midst of fly tying. Uh, we have our classes. Uh, we're doing five classes, two salt, two, three fresh. And uh, this week we did, uh, okay, this is called uh, the roadie. Uh, this is uh, the roadie um, yellow rebel. We did that. We also uh, did... Uh, the Jack Garside Soft Hackle, a little bit of different version that we did. And we also did the Montreal Whore, which is an old pattern, but it is a great little fly, especially for the Connect Quad. Um, that said, we are also starting next week on uh, January 22nd, we're starting our Fly Fishing Skills free presentations by people, leading people in the industry. And the first one is actually from uh, Karen Miller uh, from Zen Tenkara and Morgan Lyle, who wrote a book called Tenkara Today. Now, Tenkara fishing is just a different technique. And why? Well, it's fun. That's why. And so let's get out there and uh, stop in. Uh, we'll have dinner for everybody. It's a free presentation. Uh, go to my website and check it out. It, look under the skills, fly fishing skills seminar page, and it has all the ones that we're going to be having for the rest of the season. Uh, these are free presentations to up your game and make you a better fly fisherman. Uh, so, until next week, tight lines, everybody, and uh, tie some flies and get out there and fish. Here are some upcoming fishing events.
The January issue of the Fisherman Magazine with the Boat Buyer's Guide is out now, and the New York Boat Show is next Wednesday. Kale's Family Boating Center is getting a few boats ready for display at the show. Be sure to stop by and say hi and check out the latest Sea Pro boats. Remember, like our video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and tap on the bell to be notified instantly when we post a new video on YouTube. And of course, be a subscriber to the Fisherman Magazine to be part of the Dream Boat Contest. Check out this video's description on YouTube for all the related links and more information. See you next week from the New York Boat Show.